I'm here in the Alabama Museum of Natural History collection space, and today I'm going to meet up with a couple of paleontologists who are going to study a mosasaur. Now, a mosasaur is one of those creatures uh, in the latest Jurassic World movie that kind of comes out of the water and saves the day. Um, the one we're going to meet today, her name is Sweetie, and she comes from Alabama, just south of Montgomery. So this should be really cool to watch them uh, pull her out of the collection space and study her. Paleontologists have to lay out all these bones so that they can measure each bone and put them together to see how complete Sweetie actually is. Um, Sweetie could be uh, one of the most complete Mosasaurus maximus uh, species that they have and likely one of the largest ever discovered, which is really cool. Do you know why it's named Sweetie? No one seems to know. Did you work it's a mystery. In one of the, the trips out to the site where Sweetie was discovered, uh, one of the U of A people noticed this little dog that the owner kept calling Sweetie. So the owner's dog was named Sweetie, and apparently that's where the name came from. Tell me oh why God. Sweetie is so special. Well, I think Sweetie's special because she's these massive. And we don't have too many. The biggest Mosasaur is Mosasaurus. And then, of course, under that umbrella, there's several species. That's the biggest one. We don't have many of those. We have some. The one we have the most of is, is a smaller one. And so, first of all, so it's a little bit rare even for us because it, it showed up late in the evolutionary scheme of the Mosasaur. And so uh, probably toward the tail end of Mosasaurus before you know the, everything, including the dinosaurs went, that's when these were lurking around there. And so it's big, that's one thing. And I, and How do you know that's the second one and that's the first one? Well, this, I'm not sure. This second or third. Just size? Yeah. Well, I'm not sure. But size and also no, the length are the same. Oh, okay. Just perfect. So I'll get the shorter and shorter to the end yeah, of the yeah. neck. Uh, well, now we, what we were doing is trying to determine uh, whether their body temperatures were um, cold-blooded, like their ambient uh, seawater temperature would be elevated. Out, and so we compared them with fish because cold, uh, cold-blooded fish would have the same temperature as the seawater, and then we compared it with birds that were uh, seabirds that only drank seawater, and because uh, they have elevated body temperatures, and so they, they kind of were plotted closer to the birds and then to the fish and turtles. This way, the being has done it is more of an extrapolation from a single bone, and what you're saying is you want to basically kind of take into account every single bone, yeah. and then fill in the gaps as best you can and then compare those two metrics. I think that's great, yeah. that's interesting. Sweetie is likely one of the largest mosasaurs ever discovered. Happy Valentine's Day, sweetie. We hope Dr. Lin and Dr. E.K. find out you break all sorts of records. After all, University of Alabama is where legends are made. Uh -huh.